This video will introduce the quick setup feature. It is not intended to completely replace the written instructions. Quick setup allows you to install the Aura in a model using the transmitter to configure it. No PC is needed. QuickSet is intended for conventional models of normal complexity. The Aura config tool should be used to set up aircraft that do not meet these parameters. There are some prerequisites for using QuickSet to configure your model. The model should have a conventional wing type using one or two aileron servos. The model should have a conventional tail type with one or two elevator servos. You have one rudder servo. Keep in mind you can use Y harnesses in any of the servo ports to drive more than one servo with the same signal. You need to provide Aura with a digital receiver signal, which means you need a Spectrum Remote Receiver or Spectrum SRXL, or a Futaba S Bus, or a JR Mode B, or a Gropner SumD of 8. Any of these signals will auto detect and then allow you to proceed with QuickSet. Aura needs to be mounted in one of two orientations that we'll show you. The gear channel needs to be available to Aura and on a switch. A three position switch is preferred but a two position switch also will work and give you two flight modes. Here you can see the two orientations that QuickSet can detect. Upright with the many ports forward and the servo pins up or inverted with the many ports forward and the servo pins down. Servo connections should be made as shown in the QuickSet guide. Note that the throttle can be plugged into Aura or if you are using a receiver that has an active throttle port you can use that instead. Be aware that in a Fataba installation Aura reverses the throttle signal for you so it's not necessary to reverse it in your transmitter to drive a normal electronic speed control. There are two aileron ports. There are also two elevator ports with the second one being reversed. If you need two elevators traveling in the same direction use a Y harness. A rudder servo port is next followed by a couple of auxiliary ports that are pre-configured for you. You can power your Aura in any open port on the servo bus or through a Y harness to any open port. QuickSet changes many settings inside the Aura and starts over each time it is run. So make sure to save any program inside the Aura that you want to keep to your PC before continuing. Before actually entering the Aura QuickSet mode, make sure your transmitter is properly configured per the QuickSet guide. Pay close attention to a default or standard wing type and tail type. Normal servo reversing for aileron, elevator, and rudder are required and make sure the sub trims and trims are set to zero for the flight controls. Once your physical installation is complete you're ready to enter quick setup mode. Turn on your transmitter with the throttle low. Make sure that your aura is powered off. Remove any throttle servo or any other device other than a conventional electronic speed control from port S1. Temporarily remove any servo installed in the S2 port. Next, insert a bind plug into S2. Apply power to Aura and your receiver. If you were to unintentionally enter quick set mode, remove the power before unplugging the bind plug to prevent any changes from being saved. If you have not yet completed auto detect, or will now auto detect your receiver, then setup mode will begin. In the first stage of quick set, you will configure your model type, set master gain on or off, and set orientation. You can play with these in any order and more than once. Just make sure they are set as desired when you pull the bind plug to save the first stage settings. The orange LED will be on in quick setup mode. The blue, green, and red LEDs will illuminate to show the current unsaved settings. The channel 5 or gear switch is used to toggle between model types. In one switch position you will select the sport or scale model type indicated by the green LED being on. In the other position you will select the 3D model type indicated by the green LED being off. Just leave the switch in the position for the desired model type. Master gain will be off by default when entering quick set. You may enable master gain now if you like. If you plan for a master gain you will already have your transmitter set with the channel 8 or AUX3 data controlled by a proportional input such as a knob. To enable master gain, sweep your assigned proportional control all the way down and then up. The red LED will illuminate indicating master gain is enabled. You can set it off again by sweeping it down and so on. 
Leave the control in the desired position and continue. The final thing to do in stage one is to set the orientation of the aura which you have already mounted in your model in one of the two quick set supported orientations. Aura must be properly oriented to function correctly. Basically you want to place your model on a relatively level surface as it would be an upright or level flight and check the blue LED to confirm that the aura is detecting the installation properly. Blue LED on indicates that Aura is installed in the normal or upright orientation with the servo pins up. Blue LED off indicates that the Aura is installed in the inverted orientation with the servo pins down. As a tip, it is useful to toggle the various settings back and forth a few times as it is easier to confirm the LED indications with the other LEDs off. The LEDs are pulsed to control the brightness and are very difficult to show on video. When you are satisfied that these three settings are correct and with the model upright, remove the bind plug. This will save the stage one settings and move you on to stage two. Stage two settings are automatically saved as they are made. You can go ahead and plug any aileron servo you may have removed from port S2 back in. Now we're going to do a control check with the transmitter. You can see by moving this stick right, I'm getting left aileron. So I'm going to reverse that by holding to the right for about four seconds. And it's going to reverse. And now you'll see with right aileron, I get right aileron. Moving on to check the tail controls. You can see if I move the elevator up, I'm getting up. That's good. The rudder, well that one's going backwards. If I'm giving right, it's going left. So you just hold it to one side, wait about four seconds. Then you have right is right and left is left. Roll to the right and you'll see left aileron. Roll to the left, you'll see right aileron. If I pitch the nose up, I get down elevator. Pitch the nose down, I get up elevator. Sensor check for yaw. You can see if I yaw the nose left, it'll apply right rudder. If I yaw the nose right, it'll apply left rudder. Next, cycle the power of aura off and then on to exit quick set. Then perform another transmitter command check and a conventional sensor check with your flight mode set to the high gain flight mode 3. Note that the surfaces will only deflect while the aircraft is rotating. If your control surfaces are not in the properly trimmed positions, please level them by adjusting the linkages or by performing a quick trim or use a combination of both. If you removed a throttle servo or other device from your S1 port, go ahead and plug that back in now. Congratulations, you have completed the quick setup of your Aura.